Hey guys, what's up? Nathan Barra here, and uh, today I'm going to be teaching you an awesome trick involving envelopes. Let's get started. So, you're going to go up to the spectator, and uh, you're going to say, this is an empty envelope. Nothing in there, except that back over there. So, now we're going to take the deck of cards. You're going to stop me somewhere in the top half of the deck, and we're going to flip the cards over, then we're going to cut deeper, flip the cards over again, and the first face down card that we come to is going to be your selection. So since I'm the only one here, I'm just going to say stop whenever I like. Stop, okay, flip over the cards. Now we're going to go deeper. Stop, alright, flip over the cards. Now I'm going to spread them out. And the first face down card we come to. This is your card, I'm not looking at it, so make sure you remember that. Now that that's done, we're going to set the deck over here. I'm going to bring the envelope over here. And uh, I want you to think of your card right now. You think of it? Okay, here we go. Okay, I think it's done. Let's set the deck over here. Let's open up the envelope. And we can see that the envelope actually does have a card inside. And if we take that card out, the card is your card. The Jack of Spades. As to how you make the gimmick envelope, it's actually really easy. It took takes me about a minute to make it now. And if I pull out one that I made earlier, you can see that it consists of two parts. One part is just a regular envelope, just a standard envelope. And the second part is the um, the pattern. The, the problem was, if you just do it with a regular piece of paper, you can see the difference between the regular paper and the pattern that's in here. So, because, um, because you need that pattern to be matched, I, what I had to do was, if I set this over here, you have to actually make it out of another envelope. So, let's get started. What you need, if I grab my supplies out, you're going to need scissors, two envelopes, and some tape. And that's it. You need one envelope that's just standard, so we can set that there. And then this is the envelope we're going to make the cuts to. So you want to start by opening this up. And if you look closely, there's a bit of a line here that I like to cut against. So, what you want to do is to grab your scissors and you want to cut, making sure you're uh, taking off the top bit and what you can do, if you want, you can rule a line, but you want this edge to be straight in the end, so you want to cut off all the bad bits. What you should be left with is this, and the problem is it's the same size as this that we need to make but it's uh, inside, it, we need to turn it inside out, so the way I did that was I cut the edges off both edges off and now what you can actually do is you can open this like this and then you can fold it back so it looks like this, and this is where the tape comes in so all you want to do here is you're going to get a length of tape that's roughly the size of the edge of the envelope. So you want a sticky tape around the edges. Like so. And that's how it's done. It's really quite simple. It takes about one minute to make one So at the start, what you want to do is you actually have your spectator's card, the jack of uh, the jack of spades, in there. And when you put it in there, you want to make sure you put it face up. So stick that in there. And because you can see here, you can actually see the line. I like to just fold this bit of the envelope over, and then open it and show it like that. And say, as you can see, we have an empty envelope here. Show that there's nothing inside. 
close the envelope. You can uh, you can seal it if you like. I didn't seal it for the purpose of this video so that I wouldn't be uh, wasting this envelope. And uh, seal it and put it away. So the way that obviously the card is forced. So what you need to do before you start the trick is you need to go through the cards. You need to find the jack of spades, which is here. And what happens is you need to put the jack of spades on the top of the deck. So the way I forced it was I said to cut somewhere in the top half, so stop me somewhere in the top half of the deck, say so stop, flip the cards over, and then uh, tell me to stop somewhere deeper in the deck, flip the cards over, and then I said the first face down card that we come to is your selection. The first face down card is always the card on the top. So that's one way of, uh, of forcing the card. Another way that I actually like to force the card is you say, you tell the spectator, tell me when to stop. So you say to the spectator, tell me when to stop. They say stop here, for example. And what you're going to do is you're going to have a grip on the top card. And as, as you take this away, as you take the rest of the deck away, that card from the top of the deck slides on like that. And if you do it fast, it looks like this. Tell me when to stop. Stop there, okay, now take your card. And that's what it actually looks like. That's, I actually just forced that card. So now you have the card taken care of, and the trick is pretty much done from here. The last step to the trick is pretty much, is when you open the, uh, when you open the envelope, you want to make sure, you want to pick it up, you want to open up the envelope, and stick your I stick my thumb here to bring this flap up so that people can't see it, otherwise they'll see that there are two compartments. So you need to really make sure that you uh, keep your fingers there. Then what I like to do is hold my hands like this, or spread it wide so you can't see the thing, and so take the card, so the spectator takes the card, put the envelope away, and then reveal that that is actually their card. And if you really want to, uh, when the uh, you can get the jack of spades back to the top of the deck, and then palm it off, and then tell the spectators they can look through the deck and they can see that the jack of spades isn't actually there. And uh, that's a good way to really get some good reactions. So the way I palm it off is you slide the first card off, and then you use your front part of your fingers to push down on the card, and then you can take it off like that. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, comment, like, subscribe as usual. Um, I originally got this this idea from uh, Glizzo44. You can check his uh, you can check his channel out in the description. He hasn't got too many videos at the moment, but I'm sure that he'll be posting great stuff in the future. He does a really good uh, phone inside a balloon trick. Definitely go check his channel out. I like this trick because it doesn't have a table. You can do it wherever. Uh, it gets good reactions as well. And the, the gimmick envelope has uh, a lot of freedom. You don't have to just do that one trick. If you come up with something better, definitely try it and leave it in the comments below. Thanks again, guys, and stay tuned for more videos like this. We'll see you next time.